Today, Radha Kripa Kataksha will read, but before his reading, I think it would be nice if he can read one of his poems. So, yeah, all translations are set, so we can start. Uh, King Kari is coming now. You will translate, King Kari? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. Okay, gotcha. Spanish room, please. Yeah. So, Radhe Radhe, welcome everybody, greetings to everybody. So, Guraga, you wanted to say something more? Uh, yes, just uh, to wait a little bit that King Kari, her translation on Spanish uh, can be set. Just one second. Mm -hmm. They don't want to miss any of your words. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Gotcha, 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 Radhe, Radhe. Nice to see you. So, may I start? Everything is ready? Not yes. yet. Not yeah. yet? Yeah. Okay, give me a sign when it is ready. Uh, who is making translations? Raseshwari? I told, but I lost the co-host. If he is not, I have, he have to give it again. I'm not here. I cannot do. I'm really sorry. But where is Harinam? Harinam is he said sometimes he had to go out, so he gave me co-host, but I didn't find the co-host. Oh no, let me see. Maybe can you try now? I can do everything, but I cannot do this doll match. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Radha Kripa Kataksha, there is one re request. Yes. Please read slow. Okay. That everyone can relish each of your words. So, Devi, <laughs> there's a special requirement. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will try my best. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, this is actually newest poem, which will be in a book, uh, which we will publish uh, soon. So, everybody who wanted to uh, can uh, take... Uh, in Vrindavan, in March or April. This name or this, this name or song is... Uh, <laughs> okay. I am your shadow forever. This is the name of the song. Oh, dear Estrada, oh, Krishna, dear, every new day of yours is magically unrepeatable. And your pastimes are written by eternity. And there is nothing sweeter out of Raja. Oh, my Radhe, I care. I carry those grooves in my heart and wander through them, calling out to you, constantly drinking the nectar of your name and being intoxicated by it. Oh. When will that nectar flood my heart so that I forget this self to approach you, the source of love? Oh, my Swamini, there is red dust on my, on my palms. Grain by grain, I collect it from the parts that made your tender feet happy, passing through them. Then I hold them in front of Mohan, to light his way to Kunja, where the scent of jasmine from your shoulders awaits him. O Rade, with the sign of the umbrella on your left foot, I'm there under it constantly, and wherever you go, I'm with you. I am a silent shadow that flickers as you breath. The blueness of the sky, the murmur of the river, the sweetness of honey, they never win the sparkle in your eyes. 
the sweet sound of your belt bells, the beauty of your lips. Let me serve you, who is conqueror of all the most beautiful, brightest, and the sweetest. And this desire cannot be defeated by any other. Oh, my Radike. So thank you for your attention. That's the song. Thank you very much, Radha Kripa Kataksha. Yeah. It was nice introduction for yes. today's words. You chose it. Yeah, it so, was there. Yeah. Yes, I could please. continue with the same mood <laughs> to improve this. Actually, again, it was difficult to find the so-called proper verse in uh, Radha Rasa Sudanidi, but somehow Radha, I choose this uh, 144. And let to read it. Radha nama iva kariam hyanudina militam sadanadi shakotis tiadja mirajya radha pada kamala sudam sat pumar tagra koti radha padabja lila bubijayati sanda manda mandara koti shirada kikari nam lutati charanayor adbuta siti koti. By daily singing, only the holy name of Shri Radha, millions of the best spiritual practices become rejectable. By worshipping the nectar of Shri Radha's lotus feet, millions of the best human goals of life are abandoned because there are millions of great dish yielding trees in the playground of Shri Radha's lotus feet, Shri Vrindavana, and the millions of perfections roll at the feet of Shri Radha's maid servants and cared for. Beautiful. Okay, once again, okay, we'll read once, once again the same verse. By daily singing, only the holy name of Shri Radha, millions of the best spiritual practices become rejectable. By worshipping the nectar of Shri Radha's lotus feet, millions of the best human goals of life are abandoned because there are millions of great wish yielding trees in the playground of Shri Radha's lotus feet, Shri Vrindavana, and millions of perfections roll at the feet of Shri Radha's maid servants and cared for. So before commentary of Ananta Baba, somebody want to say something, this beautiful verse, right? The power of Radha's Nectarian worship. Commentary of Ananta Das Babaji. Shripad, still in his Sadakavesh, shows here how fixed he is in his devotion to Shirada. He says, simply by daily chanting the name of Radha, millions of great spiritual practices become rejectable. Sankirtana is the emperor of all sadhana. Yes. Mm -hmm. We can stop here bef before mm -hmm. we continue on the, this nice part. Okay. Let's do this. And if you allowed me to share something, Baba is saying Sripad still in his sadhaka wish. Mm -hmm. Knows here how fixed he is in his devotion to Shiradika. So in his Sadaka Vesh, he is always aware about his eternal relationship with Shimati Radhika. He is always aware about his eternal Seva. And in his Sadaka Vesh, he shelter is Radharani's name. By the mercy of Radharani's name, Radhanama, he is relishing 
the sweetness of the name, and she is relishing the form of Shimati Radharani, which is not different from her name. So this is the beauty and sweetness and the power of the holy name, that there is no difference between person and his or her name. And to realize that, Sadaka needs a mercy, Kripa, from holy name. So when someone like Sripad, Prabhupada Saraswati here is relishing the name, he's actually glorifying the carrier of that name. You are so famous, you are so beautiful, you are so sweet, you have so much unlimited qualities, my dear Radhe, that only by singing your name, all my desires are fulfilled. And I have only one desire, to be your shadow, like Radha Kripa Kataksha was writing in his nice poem. So when devotee is in Sadaka Vesh, he is not in his bhajan because of different circumstances, or maybe because Lila disappeared from his heart and mind, his only shelter is the name. And everything is starting from the name, all devotional life is starting from the name, continuing, devotional practicing is continuing with the holy name of beloved Ishtadev, and ultimately is ending with the holy name. So here Prabhupada Saraswati is the receiver of complete mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So it means that he received completely the mercy for holy name, for Radharani. He received mercy for Vrindavan. He received mercy for his Sambada, Abhideya, and ultimately Manjari Prayojan. And this is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. How we will know that we will receive, that we received the mercy of Goranga when in our heart, appears burning desire to attain ultimate goal, the lotus feet of Shimatera Dara. This is the sign of complete mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Gora Bhaktavrinda. So Prabhupada Saraswati is the mercy case, we can say, like Raghunath also. And due to that mercy, due to Gora Kripa, he has such a taste for Radharani's holy name. And many Vrajavasis, actually, they don't have such kind of taste for the holy name of Shimate Radharani. Many Sakas, they don't know the sweetness of Radharani's name. Many devo eternal devotees in the parental mood, in Vatsalya mood, they don't have this kind of realization of sweetness of Radharani's name. Intimate Krishna's friends, they know, but others, they are not aware about the sweetness, beauty of Radharani's name and specifically power. Why I say power? I don't think about mystical powers and so on. No, this is the power of love. And this power of love is so effective to the Krishna's heart. And this is the reason why many Vrajavasis, they don't know the glories of Radharani's name. Shastras are explaining that. I'm just repeating the words of our Rasik devotees. Only those devotees who are relishing Paraki above and serve Paraki above, forbidden love, between Yugalaki Shore, they can relish complete sweetness of Radha's name and also complete sweetness of Krishna's name. True, Radharani's feelings and relishment of his name. And those devotees are shadows, like Radha Kripakataksha read in his poem. Those devotees are Manjari's, Kinkari especially. 
shadows of Radharani appearance, shadow, they are shadows of Radharani's form, qualities, pastimes. They are shadows of Radharani's name. If you are shadow of someone, all qualities of the source manifests on the shadow. This is the beauty of transcendental relationship with be, between the source and shadow. In material world, source is there and shadow, practically speaking, is following. But no one's take a care about shadow. It's not important at all. But in transcendental world, shadow of Radharanis, kinkaris, small manjaris, they have in their hearts all emotions, all qualities from beloved Radharani. And because of that, even if they are in Sadakavesh, they have complete relishment of Shimati Radharani's name. And when they are practicing the bhajan, smaran, deep smaran, then automatically this name is energizing all their meditations. It's like a fuel. You know, you have to put the fuel, then all energy is going in the motor. So completely focused in his own Staiba, I am Radharani's maidservant. Prabhupada Saraswati here, even if he is in external consciousness, Sadakavish, he wants daily, day by day, 24-7, to sing the holy name of Sri Radha. I mean, many things can be said, but for the beginning, I just wanted to, to make some small introduction because Radha Kripa Kataksha made beautiful it, introduction with his poem, I want to be your shadow. And what shadow is doing, like Guru Dev is speaking many times, always following the source. It's not separate. So when Prabhupada Saraswati is singing loudly or in, inside of his heart, the name of Radha, He's in that way, he's also in Sadakavesh, is serving Radharani. So he's showing us the Sadaka, the best service, devotional service, is to chant constantly, constantly chant the name of beloved Ishtade. And it, it should come on the stage of constant unshakable chanting. If someone wants to share something, please be free. I don't know who is here. Is, is it Gurudev here? Yeah. Oh, Gurudev, I see you now, but no, without picture. <laughs> okay, Radha Kripa Kataksha. If there is no... We, we can continue to read, and later on we will also. Thank you very much. Okay. You inspired me to say something similar. Can I repeat just this sentence again and then say something? So, Sankirtana is the emperor of all sadhana and gives prema to everyone who surrenders to it without discrimination. So, we can catch three very important points here. That uh, Baba said that uh, Sankirtana is the emperor of all sadhana. He gives prema. So, can we imagine that we, by chanting we can receive the prema to everyone, but who surrender to it? So, each sadhaka have to uh, came to the platform to try to find this hidden sweetness of Radhika's holy name and feel it. And when feel it, when this, uh, by her mercy, this love come it into our heart, what we should do then? Just give this love to her 
actually make. So this surrendering to the holy name actually is very important. As Goranga Sundara said, we have to chant constantly, but uh, with surrender mood, actually, as Baba said, and also gradually, uh, but, uh, um, Raganuga practitioners should uh, uh, gradually start to connect this uh, holy name of Radha with meditation, just to uh, 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 merge her name with this service, actually, meditation, and uh, and then uh, she can uh, discover herself in the in a uh, one beautiful uh, form, in a uh, one beautiful feeling, and then we can uh, uh, be con- make connection, real connection with her. So, and this third. Uh, sentence uh, without discrimination. So this tendency, which I heard so many times, that uh, we do not deserve to approach Radhika and taste the sweetness of Radha and Krishna meetings, I heard so many times in my life. But uh, uh, we can see that uh, uh, Lord Goranga actually gave this holy name uh, without discrimination and actually we deserve this and we deserve this because Lord Gora want that we receive this. That's the point. This is his wish that we take it. He put it in our heart. Um, I'm deserve it not because I'm qualified, I'm advanced devotee or something. No, but Lord Gora giving to us in his hands, take it, Manjari Baba, and we are so fortunate just to have received it, and uh, as Baba said, perform this uh, Sankirtana and uh, others, uh, others uh, things which we perform daily in our sadhana, actually. Can I ask shortly? Yes. What it means? What it means to surrender to Sankirtan? Surrender to Sankirtan, as Baba said, surrender to. Uh, actually, we have this uh, love in, our, in ourselves, as I said, just to have to uh, try to connect with this name. Uh, stop to uh, to uh, count our rounds and uh, take care for letters and rounds just to uh, uh, try to taste this sweetness which contains Radha names, express desire. When when we address Radha and say, Oh, Radha, just address her with love, with wish to taste it. This means surrender. I wish to taste your name, to feel love, and serve you with love. I wish this. If, even if I don't wish it, I wish to wish. For my point of view, this means surrender. Even if I don't have emotion, I want to express desire to feel it. I surrender this name. This is a, this witness is a hidden and it is, it is so beautiful and is open for us by mercy of Lord God. So, if somebody want to correct me, please say something. I think Barrio desire to taste it is surrender. Everything is so. Surrender is coming through the emotions. Otherwise, we cannot surrender, right? I think that we can surrender without emotion. Before, from my point of view, on the beginning, I didn't feel any emotion. You know. Just uh, practice rules and regulations. You have a faith, no emotions. I mean, some emotions, but in some low platform. But gradually, with the mercy of Acharyas, Radha, and Krishna, we express, open our heart. It's coming. From my point of view, by my experience, uh, everybody has different experience. Everybody else can say. 
I can just express my own experience in my my sound. La Bangalatica. Mute your mic. Yes, thank you. Yes, Radha Kripa Kitash. Please. So please correct me if I uh, have uh, some other. No, no, no. It's it's perfect answer. Thank you very much. Because without love, there is no surrendering. And Sankirtana with surrendering is really Sankirtana. It's not what we are thinking that is Sankirtana with only body, mind, even with intelligence, yes. But if the soul is not surrendered in relationship, in Sambhada, then Sankirtan cannot be complete. This is my understanding. So surrendering means to love. And when we love someone, it's natural that we will sing the name. No one can has to force us, isn't it? No one has to force us. No one has to hey, because why we have rules and regulations? Because there is no love. Rules and regulations are meant for the people and persons and devotees who doesn't have love to slowly develop love. But those who develop love. They constantly practice. They don't practice 16 rounds, 64 rounds. They constantly practice. Because they con- every day, every second, every moment, they surrendered to beloved Ishtadev. And result, sign of that surrender is that they cannot stop, even in their sadaka wish, to chant the holy name of beloved. This is a natural process. But in the beginning stage, we need some rules, regulations, a little bit to be forced. Do it. You have to do it. Because the coverings of material existence and consciousness are so thick that subtle, transcendental feelings cannot appear, cannot blossom. But after some time, devotees should take complete shelter of sadhu, rasik devotee, who will give him further guidance in Raganuga, devotional path. Sankirtana with love will bring prema, pure love. And when prema appears or bhava appears, then Sankirtana is more and more relishable. And the more Sankirtana is relishable, the prema more appears. So this, this is the beauty of transcendental holy name. It's not the beauty of ordinary materialistic name of someone whom we love. No, holy name doesn't belong to this material world. Name is a transcendental name. For transcendent, in transcendental relationship can be relished. Not with this body. So this is the goal. And Sankirtana here is so much glorified because all items of devotional life of bhakti are already inside of Sankirtana. All main process of bhakti is Navada bhakti. Shravanam, Kirtana, Smarana, Archana, Vandana, Dasan, Sakyam, Atmani, Vedanam are present inside of Sankirtana. Because without proper hearing, devotion hearing, how we will sing Sankirtana? Proper hearing is inspiring Sankirtana. In Sankirtana is also kata, loud glorification, and especially together with devotees in the same mood. In Sankirtana, Smarana is present. Sankirtana without Without smarana is, is not kirtana. It's just religious practice. It can sound very nice, very like in, very good singing, even dancing. But without smarana during sankirtana, this is religious practice. And this kind of uh, sankirtana in which worshipping bhajan is present. It's another part of devotional life. Because in the words, Prabhupada Nanda saying, 
by daily singing only holy name of Radha. And then he is saying by worshipping the nectar of Radhika's lotus feet. In Sankirtana, he is worshipping Radhika's lotus feet. This is puja, prema puja. Of, of whom? Of devotee who is prema pujarini. Then, another level of devotion, devotional life, praying, vandana. During Sankirtana, Vandana is automatically, simultaneously is going, Oh my Radhe, when will I serve your lotus feet? When will I attain that position to be in the association of your maidservants? Then next level is coming. Next item of Bhakti, Dasya. I only want to be your Radha Dasya. Then I am completely Atman Vedan. I am completely surrendering to you. So you see, Sankirtana includes all nine most important items of devotional service. But Sankirtana with love, with pure heart. Without pure heart, it's a religious practice. Or by the words. Because in Sankirtana, there is a prayer for direct service. I don't want to be in passive mood. Just passive. Singing your names, but I don't want relationship with you. This is not love. Love is, I want to become your shadow. And to become your shadow, it means that I have, I want to be close intimate with you. In most intimate situation of your paraki above with your lover. This is Gaudiya Vaishnava God. Please Radhakrit Patkataksha. Continue because now I see Baba is giving like you said gradual please okay. and say something. Saying please something about that. Okay. Uh, this item of devotion should never be given up, for it purifies the mind and heart, and thus helps one to enter into smarana. Explain, please. What it means to enter into smarana? By my experience, actually, there is a two levels of the chanting of a uh, holy name, especially Radhika's. Uh, holy name in our case, just to taste the uh, her name by listening, by, by addressing her with her name. And the second is to merge the chanting of her name with our service in our meditation. As Baba said, it does helps, helps one to enter into smarana. When we enter into Smarana during the chanting of Radha's name, then our Manjari nature is awakening, actually. When we serve her by calling her, just uh, chanting her name in calling mood, Radhe, where are you? I want to serve you. And serve her in meditation and merge these processes. And then we are waking slowly our manjari nature, what is our goal of life, actually, and, and the precious gift of Goranga Mahaprabhu. Uh, uh, actually, we should continue without external worshipping, uh, but uh, uh, gradually this uh, connection with, with Radhika, uh, when we improve this, this internal, uh, internal worshipping will uh, Will, will come in the front of our daily sadhana, actually. We will see this because our uh, uh, external worship uh, uh, can uh, become sometimes ritualistic, but we are coming deeper in meditation and uh, try always to, to taste, uh, to connect with Radhika to her name. She is uh, closer and closer to us. And this is the beauty of uh, uh, practicing uh, Raga Nuga Bhakti, the, the, uh, this uh, process of uh, connection with Radhika is gradual, is going step by step. 
and we can uh, discover so many things, so many new things, so many new emotions coming to our heart. There is no end of this. We just to just show the patient in our daily sadhana and not just uh, uh, wait the moment that we coming in our bhajana, not to uh, have a two separate life. I have my life with sadhana, I chanting my routes, my diksha mantras, cooking, prepare for altar something, and then I go go out to do something. Actually, Manjari is serving Radhika 24 hours. And this is a test, actually. When we go for our chanting, our meditation, go out to keep Radhika in our heart, invoke her day all day long. Even with small meditation, offer her something, whatever. But just keep it, and gradually we will see beautiful results, beautiful emotion. Uh, coming to us, and we are catched forever. <laughs> so that's enough for now. If somebody wants to continue, please say something. Share some emotion, some experience. Please, my dears. Or read more. Yes, Goranga Sundara, please. Uh, yes, thank you very much that you explained this gradual process, and Baba is giving here very nicely steps. First, purify mind and heart. When mind and hearts are sufficiently purifying by Sankirtana, then Sadaka is, can enter into deep smarana. The more mind is purifying, the more heart becomes purified. The more mind and heart becomes chittavrit, completely pure, the more smarana becomes thick, constant. So everything starts from the mind. And the manasa seva, mental service, which devotee is practicing in his mind, is helping the mind to focus on ishtadev. In the beginning, mind is pretty wild. It's a pretty rough stubborn. But this is sadhana. This is the sadhana. And Raghunath is giving us beautiful instruction in Manashiksha. Oh, my dear brother mine. Oh, my dear friend mine. Please, focus yourself. Absorb yourself in Vrindavan, in Goranga, in Guru, in Radha Mohan, in Vrindavan. Because this is the place in which you will become finally normal. Otherwise, you will go all around, all around projects, plans, ideas, desires, unlimited things, but you will never be happy. So this Manasa Seva, Seva Sadaka Rupena, Siddha Rupena, in the mind, Devotee is practicing, singing, chanting, listening also, remembering. He is practicing. He didn't attain perfection still, but he is practicing. But he knows what to practice. He is not lost what to do, how to do. No, I know what to do, and I know how to do. And now I have to purify my heart that this act, this seva, becomes really, really, really the devotional life. So mind has to be purified, and it will help heart to become purified. Because heart is full, full, full of holes, like a pot. Guru Dev is explaining, like a pot full of holes. You have to close first the holes in this pot like heart. How? With the help of the mind. Mind is instrument to put in the heart Nama, Rupa, Guna, and Lilas for beloved Ishtadev. But if we are not fixed in our goal, if we are not fixed in Sambada, how mind 
will accept this. But the more we are fixed in our goal, in our Sambada, in our Ishtadev, desirable relationship, then mind will slowly but surely and gradually starts to fill the heart with proper thoughts. And when the heart and mind becomes chitta vrit, they are breathing like one. Then smarana slowly but surely can go deeply and constantly and constantly. So sankirtana, sadhu sangha is so important that we purify our mind, our heart, and with the sadhu kripa. This is possibly only with sadhu kripa. I cannot purify my mind. I can just try, but I cannot succeed. <laughs> I'm praying for kripa. And then hoping that one day it will be sufficient purifying without influence of gunas, influence of false ego, then I can go deeply in my bhajan and my smara. So like Radha Kripa Kataksha said, it requires patience, it requires time and conviction also that this process is really functioning, is working, but only if it's practiced like this, like Acharyas are guiding us. We cannot play the games with the mind. You know, he is playing the games with us. We cannot be naive in our relationship with mind because he wants, under the gunas, under the different materialistic influences, he wants that we become naive. And in that way, he is playing his wild game, like wild horses. And together with wild senses, then disaster. So we need to follow instructions and we have to surrender to that and accept and surrender to instructions. Sometimes I'm following instruction, but I didn't accept that in my heart. I'm talking from my case. But for, we have to accept that this is really for our ultimate benefit. What sadhus are talking and what Gurudev is giving to me. Then I can surrender with full mind and full heart and try my best as much as I can. Everything else depends on mercy. Flow. Flow is the mercy. And then mind when it comes in the flow, then smarana. Constantly, constantly smarana is going on. Even if devotee doesn't notice it, Smarana constantly going, is going on. Even if devotee doesn't notice that. Why he's not noticing? Because he's in this moment occupied with some different duties, things to do, and he's not noticing. But in the pure heart, Smarana is, flow of the Smarana is always going on. And when devotee stops, immediately it's bursting down from the, his heart. <laughs> I think that many devotees, they have this kind of realizations. Without any force, it bursts out because devotee constantly flowing. His heart, pure heart is constantly flowing. That. Okay, can we continue? Yes. Or... Somebody want to say something, Guru Dev or some other devotee? No? Okay, should I read? Yeah? Okay. Those, actually, sorry, these millions of spiritual practices that become rejectable do not include the vital items of devotional practice like hearing, chanting, remembering, worshipping the deity, etc. The uh, text does not say Bhajan Disha Kotis that all devotional practices become rejectable, but 
Sanadisha Kotishtyajya practices like deliberate austerities, cultivation of book knowledge, lowing ordinary religious principles, and so on, become rejectable. So, yes, Baba making this border between acceptable and not acceptable, actually, these uh, uh, things uh, which can perform in uh, our bhajan, actually. Actually, when we uh, came to the level of this higher taste, uh, when we realized the sweetness of the Radhika for, as Baba said, uh, for the maid servants of Radhika, these other things uh, does no value at all, even if they standing in the feet of Radhika's maid servants and uh, pray, offer them, they are not interesting. They taste the sweetest nectar, actually, and don't uh, need for the other things. But uh, this uh, practicing uh, practices like, uh, as Baba said, vital items of the ocean practices, hearing, chanting, remembering, worshipping the deity, this uh, should be present, still present, uh, even in Raganuga Bhajan, uh, always. Uh, and uh, actually, as Goranga Sundara said, uh, very nice way that you have to be together, go in the floor every day. And no difference between them one moment that we just, when you come in the flow of emotion, this going uh, spontaneously in our life, actually, in our daily life. So, Goranga Sundara or others? Yeah, I want to share something and uh, to emphasize because Baba, like you said, Baba is making clear thing. When he said reject all other religious practices, he doesn't mean reject devotional items like Shavanan, Kirtana, Smara, and so on. This is very important to understand. And he is mentioning here Actually, the obstacles for devotional life is to be focused on austerities. Devotees, sadakas, beginners, we are beginners. We have many samskaras from our previous lives, different kinds of samskaras. And someone of us are very attracted with austerities, tapa. And for them, it's natural, you know. They cannot eat seven days. They can sit in one place. They can fast, even don't sleep. They are going in the cold water up to the neck and stay a few hours and start to chant. But this is not instructions which are recommended by our Rasikra Acharyas including Prabhupada, because this kind of austerities can make the heart very, very tough, very hard, and proudness is coming out. And this is not the quality which help person to develop sensitive emotions in his soft devotional heart. Next thing Baba is saying, collecting the knowledge, even spiritual knowledge. Bhaktivinoda Thakur is explaining this very nicely. He is advising, don't collect so much material things. Don't do this, pray us. Don't collect material things, because you will be so much entangled that you cannot go out from them. But also he is saying, don't collect spiritual knowledge because you will be in the net and entangled with all these different kinds of inf informations and ultimately you will become crazy and your heart again will be hard and this is obstacle for devotional life full of love there is no, in love, there is no place for knowledge. In Vrindavan, no one is interesting for knowledge. And no one is interesting for austerities. 
everyone is interesting for bhakti. And when I say in Vrindavan, it doesn't mean that everyone who is living in Vrindavan feels like that. But those who really understand Vrindavan mood and Vrajavasi mood, they are not interesting because they know that tapa, vrata, jnana is a great obstacle for my devo- the devotional progress. And it should be reject. Why it should be reject? Because this is obstacle. And who can reject it? Only someone who has a taste for Raja mood. And we can see the more we spend in, in different spiritual organizations, the more we have been knowledgeable collecting informations and informations in more difficult actually to reject this because ego is so strong and heart is so disbalanced and hard that we cannot simply allow ourselves just to flow. We don't have a shraddha in the flow. We have shraddha in the knowledge. And because of that, we cannot relish Raj Mood, Raj Prem. So this is the greatest obstacle which can be overcome by the mercy when devotee sincerely and honestly wants to be free from these obstacles. You know, many times Gurudev was saying, how can I help you if you don't want? <laughs> For many reasons. How can I help you if you don't want? So first we have to want to be free from these obstacles. Then Guru Kripa will change the mood, will bring us in the flow of Manjaribar. And then holy name of Radha, holy name of Krishna, will start to blossom in the heart of fortunate sadhaka. What is the next? Following ordinary religious principles. Vaidhi Bhakti, different pujas, worshipping the demigods, for what? For material benefit. And this is the obstacle for the flow of devotional life. And these obstacles, I can say for myself, everyone has to check with himself, they are in the heart, sometimes very, very hidden. And the duty of the guru is to help shishya, disciple, to recognize that. First recognize, and then take it out. Can we continue reading? Or want you to say something more? Or others, please? Someone? Okay. Shipat Sanatana Goswami writes in his opening of Brihad, Bhagavatamrita, Jayati Jayati Namanan Darupam Murare Riramita Nijadharma Dhyana Pujadi Yatnam. All glories to the ecstatic holy name of Murari, Krishna, that stops all endeavors like Dharma, Puja, and Yoga meditation. Okay. Sanatana Goswami writes in his own commentary, the results of the miserable process of following the rules and regulations of the caste and the ashrama system, the difficulty of fixing one's mind during efforts to meditate or to listen attentively to a lecturer, or the miserable process of collecting pure paraphernalia for puja, formal worship, will easily be awarded simply by taking shelter of the holy name. One more time. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, last sentence, yeah? Okay. Yeah, the results. Mm-hmm. The results of the miserable process of following the rules and regulations of the caste and ashrama system. Stop. Rade. 
So following the Varna Ashram is the, not the goal of life. And Sanatana Goswami, like our Acharya, Sambada Acharya, this is very important to understand who is talking this word, Sambad Acharya. He is saying that following Naimitika Dharma or Varna Ashrama Dharma is a very miserable process, brings so many, much difficulties, complications, and ultimately entangled Jiva more and more. And we know we spent many years in different spiritual associations where Varna Ashrama Dharma was so much emphasized, Naimitika Dharma, which is not eternal Dharma at all. And the bodily consciousness, bodily awareness became stronger and stronger and stronger. And this is the reason why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu say, no, I'm not a Brahmana. I am not Sanyasi. I am not Vaishya. I am not Shudra. I am not Kshatriya. I am not this and that. I am just Dasan, 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 Dasan. He's showing us through his own words that following Varnashrama Dharma is not ultimate goal and brings many, many miserables and entanglements which is which are not easy to overcome. Next, please. The difficulty of fixing one's mind during efforts to meditate or to listen attentively to a lecturer. Okay, or the... Rade. Mm -hmm. So, Baba is uh, Sanatana Goswami, like our Sambhada Guru, Guru who wants that Jiva understand that he has to make loving relationship. This is Sambhada with the Lord, or we should, with his Swarup Shakti, Radharani. He said, bhajan or meditation, if we didn't establish this, it is a great effort. It's difficult to do it. And it's even difficult to listen to the lecturer, those who are trying to give the lectures about rasa, because we didn't firmly Establish our relationship in our style. Or the miserable processes of the miserable process of collecting pure paraphernalia for puja formal worship will easily be awarded simply by taking shelter of the holy name. So many endeavors Brahmanas are putting to collect. Pure paraphernalia for puja, for puja. Pure paraphernalia, but forgetting the most important paraphernalia for puja, love. The purest paraphernalia for puja is prema, pure love. When person who has a pure love touch any paraphernalia, this paraphernalia becomes purified automatically. So this is the essence. I don't say that we don't have to clean paraphernalia for worshipping. But what is really puja? We should understand what is really puja and how puja is doing with prema. Prema pujarini. That's the point. Otherwise, this is just archana. You know, this is the greatest, dif great difference between archana and bhajana. We translate worshipping, but it's completely different. Archana is worshipping with the body and purifies, of course, and helps. But this is, bhajana is completely something else. Bhajana is done, is done in loving relationship with pure bhava deha, spiritual body. And then automatically, everything what this kind of devotee touches becomes pure. And worshipping, it doesn't mean only incense, ghee lamp, fan. Worshipping is when you combing the hair of Radharana, when you are giving her water, when you are talking 
to Radhika about her lover. This is puja. And actually, this is the puja which Radhika likes the more. But Baba is saying here, so much miserable endeavors are present in making external paraphernalia pure. And this is the useless. And ultimately, Baba, Baba is saying here, everything will be easily awarded, awarded simply by taking the shelter of holy name. The fruit, award is the fruit, ultimate fruit of all endeavors. And this is devotion. When Sadaka takes the shelter of the holy name, then all his desires are fulfilled. This is real award. This is real present. Because I don't want any other present. Thank you for your offering. I, I'm putting it on my head. But I just want to be your shadow. Even if Krishna appears to me, I will say to him, if you can bring me to Radharani, that's okay. If you don't want to bring me, what can I do? I'm trying to find someone else who will bring me to Radharani. Okay. Now we coming to one very sweet part. Although love for Krishna is the fifth goal of human life, transcending relig religiosity, economic development, sense gratification and liberation, still the service of Sri Radha is more attractive and relishable and causes Radha's devotees to give up even the devotional service of Krishna, which leads to love for Krishna. Uh, the service of Radha, I will even give up the service of Krishna. This is Taiba. This is fixation in love for Radharani. Radha Adisnih. Love for Krishna, Prema, is the fifth goal. And Chaitanya Charitamrita is speaking about this. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is talking. Prema Purusha Artha. This is the fifth goal. It's not Dharma, religious life. Because the religious life brings someone to the heaven, not in the spiritual life, world. Dharma Artha, economic development. This is the goal of life. And we can witness how people has this kind of goal of life very prominent in their lives. But they want to do it, some smart of them, rare but smart, they want to do it in religious way. They want to earn money in a religious way. But the money is still a goal. Dharma, Artha, Kama. And what will I do with opulences, nice house, nice money? I want to enjoy my Kama. And when old age approach to me, when the sunset of my life comes, then I understand what is the use of all this material life? What is the use of all this enjoyment in life? I am dying. Even I am aware that I am dying. So I want liberation. Liberation from death, liberation from next birth. But Acharyas are trying to teach us that this is not the goal of life. Because still, you are not free from material conception and consciousness. And they say, fifth goal of life, life is a prema for Krishna. And then Gurudev is saying, a sign with that. Accept it, surrender to that, and a sign. But still, my signature is trembling, you know. Still, my signature is trembling. I started to assign first letter, second letter, but I cannot finish all assignment. Uh, my hand is trembling. I'm hesitating to do that. And Gurudev is giving 
all his love and saying, do it. Because there is a next step. You don't know. It's not the only fifth goal of life. There's another more goal of life for you. You have to attain it. This is your constitutional position, only normal position, to be with, with love, pure love, in the form of Radharani, who is always giving and giving and giving and giving the pleasure. She is the giving pleasure potency. So interesting things is that, uh, as Baba said here, that Radha's devotee is to give up even the devotional service of Krishna. Uh, we can see actually that uh, when uh, Radha's love approach to our heart and we reciprocate, if uh, our love to Radha, automatically Krishna is present when we call in Radha, invoke Radha in our meditation, Krishna is, was always here. We should not make any in, endeavors anymore to achieve Krishna. He's always here. And uh, uh, in the presence of Radha, we can taste the sweetness of Krishna also. Just is the presence of her, especially for Radhika's devotees, separate of Radha. It's more difficult. So... Uh, so this is the meaning of the words uh, Niraja Radha Pada Kamala Sudam Sat uh, Pumar Tagra Koti. Millions of the greatest Sat mean that which is eternal and transcendental like liberation or devotion to God. Goals of human life worship the nectar of Radha's lotus feet. Uh, the statement that millions of wish yielding trees always grow on the playground of Shirada's lotus feet does not indicate Aishwarya Prakasha, a, a manifestation of opulence and prowess like in Vaikuntha. Chaitanya Charitamrita states, Kalpa Vriksha Lata Yata Sahajika Vana Pushpa Palavina Kekuna Mage Anyatana. The forest of Rindavan is a very natural scenery. The people don't ask anything else from the wish yielding trees and vines, but fruits and flowers. The world Ananda indicates that the people of Raja need not even ask or pick the fruits and flowers. These generous trees give them spontaneously. Finally, so why it's like that? Why it's like that? Because the Vrindavan is the place of natural love. And when we say natural, it means spontaneous love. It's not Aishwarya. Love mixed with awe and reverence and fear. No, this is flow of natural, spontaneous love. And this is why Vrindavan is so special. This is why the Lilas, Prakata or Aprakata Lilas, are also so relishable, tasteful, sweet, because ultimately the soul can be ultimate happy only in natural, loving environment. So Vrindavan is the place of natural love for people who want to love naturally and spontaneously. Not only people, all living beings, moving or unmoving beings, are in that spontaneous, natural love. And they are all fixed in Radha Mohan's lotus feet. Some directly, some under, indirectly, indirectly, sorry. But the main essence of their existence is a pure Vraja Prem without whiff of awe and reverence. And by taking the shelter of real Rajavasis, we conditioned souls can be infused with their love, natural love. And then automatically, we will go, they will bring us, not that we will go, they will bring us in the flow of Rajamund, 
Every tree is called Pavrik Shatri. Baba is saying, fulfilling all desires. But the problem is that Rajavasis, they don't have any desires. They have only one desire, to serve Krishna in their mood, to serve Radharani, to serve Radha Mohan in their mood. This is their only desire. Even Kalpa Vriksha trees wants that. Even the grass, birds, even them, even the stones, because everything is Chintamani. And Radharani's name, sweet name, is Chintamani Jewel in Vrindavan. Her appearance is Chintamani. Her heart is Chintamani. Her mind is Chintamani, the Jewel, because she is always absorbed. How to give the pleasure to this lover who stole my heart? And real sadakas are praying, please, Radha, stole my heart. You stole my heart, because if you steal my heart, I will always chant your name, and your name will be always in my mind and in my heart. Even if you don't appear in front of me, please be merciful so much that at least your name vibrate always in my mind and heart. And this is my humble prayer. Finally, Shripada says, to Shri Radha Hinkarinam Alutati Charanayor Adbuta Siddhi Koti. Millions of wonderful perfections roll at the feet of Radha's maidservants. The maidservants do not even cast a sidelong glance at all the mystic perfections that uh, uh, lie at their feet, ready for their command. Anyone who has tasted even a drop of Krishna's sweetness considers sense gratification, liberation, and mystic perfection to be insignificant. So it is easily understandable that millions of perfections roll at the feet of the maid servants of Shri Radhika, who consider even devotion to Shri Krishna to be insignificant. The word Adbuta means that these mystic perfections are enchanting all, yes, enchanting all the great sages, but all these cities are simply rolling at the feet of Shiradika's maid servants. Shripada means to say, when I attain the main maid servanthood of Shiradika, then I lose my taste for everything else. This is the end of commentary, this word. Sense gratification is the first obstacle. Second is desire for liberation, moksha, and ultimately mystic perfection, siddhis. This is all obstacles for pure flow of devotional service. And if the heart and mind are not pure, sooner or later, Desire for mystic perfection or liberation will appear. But we see here that this mystic perfection, which is attracting so much people, they want to approach Radharani because of mystic perfection, actually. They want to approach to Manjaris, to Sadhus, because of mystic perfection. And this is impurities in the heart. But same mystic perfections are lying down under the feet of Radharani's maid servants. It means that Manjaris are not even look at them. They don't even take them seriously. They ignore completely them. But in the same time, it means that Manjaris are full of mystical perfection. Because all mystical perfections, all cities take a shelter of them, but they are not using this. Because they are bhavo, lasa, rati. Their hearts are always in the tune with the heart of beloved Swami. When she is happy, they are happy. When she is sad, they are sad. And they don't care 
or any mystical perfection. So this is the sublime position of Manjari Baba. Selfless, completely selfless, devotional service. And because of this quality, they are allowed to go inside of Nivriti Nikunja and witness the most intimate, amorous pastimes of Yuga Lakishore. They are completely free from any, any, any personal whiff of desires. So in this commentary, Baba is giving us actually warnings, sense gratification, desire for liberation, which is coming when you are disgusting and after sense gratification, and ultimately I want to attain mystic powers, mystic perfection, CD. But this is not the Keval Bhakti. This is not the teachings of pure devotees who only wants to serve with pure, pure love and to become Seva Rupaya. And Baba is saying, when I attain maid servanthood, last sentence, when I attain maid servanthood of Sri Radhika, then I lose my taste for everything else. I'm finished. Oh, Gurudev, please bless us with your appearance, if it's possible. I will go into his room and uh, look. Radhe, Radhe. Ah, okay. I'm here yeah. with Gurudev. He's resting. He was very tired. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Radhe, thanks you to can, you. You can give him our embrace. Warm sure. hug and love, okay. please. Okay. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, thank you. Radhe, Radhe. So, Radha Kripa Kataksha, what to say? Thank you very much that we share all together. Seva, it's so nice. <laughs> thank you. Radhe, Radhe. My dears, I would like to express a wish at the end. Yes, whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so nice. Thank you. Now all the translators are set and I like to listen to Radha Kripa Kadaksha again, to his poem, if it's possible, very slowly that it can enter and lighten our hearts. Would be so nice. Thank you. If there is a time, I don't know, for Anga Sundarav. Hey. And the wish is, my dear, slowly, slowly, that every word can drop into our hearts. <laughs> I, I will try. Thank, Thank you for you. this word, Thank for you. your attention. <clears throat> I'm your shadow forever. Oh, dear Estrada. Oh, Chris, Krishna, dear. Every new day of yours is magically unrepeatable, and your pastimes are written by eternity, when there is nothing sweeter out of Raja. Oh, my Radhe, I care, I carry those grooves in my heart and wander through them, calling out to you, constantly drinking the nectar of your name and being intoxicated by it. Oh, then will that nectar flood my heart so that I forget this self to approach you to source of love. Oh, my Swamini, there is a red dust on my palms. Grain by grain, I collect it from the parts that made your tender feet happy passing through them. Then I call them in front of Mohan to light his way to Kunja, where the scent of jasmine from your shoulders awaits him. O Radhe, with the sign of the umbrella on your left foot, I'm there under it constantly, and wherever you go, I'm with you. I'm silent shadow that flickers as you breath. 
the blueness of the sky, the murmur of the river, the sweetness of honey, they never win the sparkle in your eyes, the sweet sound of your belt bells, the beauty of your lips. Let me serve you, who is conqueror of all the most beautiful, brightest, and the sweetest. This desire cannot be defeated by any other. Oh, my Radhike. So, thank you. Radhe, Radhe, Govind.